Destiny 2 Trivia, and a theme for this video is going to be about legendary weapon perks, and I invited the one and only Lego Life Flash to play with me. If the viewers want to partake, feel free to put your final results down in the comments below. Okay, so there's gonna be 10 questions. I'm only doing okay. this for fun, so I'm not gonna count how many you get right or how many you get wrong. If you want to, feel free to do so. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm coming straight off vacation, like fresh into Destiny, so we'll see <laughs> we'll see how, how good right. I am at this. <laughs> so starting the first question, other than pulse rifles, what other weapon archetype can roll with the perk Headseeker? Uh, sidearms. Yep, <laughs> you're entirely correct, uh -huh. you got that one. <laughs> so right now there's only two non-sunset Headseeker sidearms. Both are adaptive yeah. frame. One of them being higher albedo from Europa and the other one is Sunona 6 from last season. That's the reason yeah. I was thinking of it was because <laughs> it's a world drop and that's the only thing I've been looking for right now is world drops and it's so rare that I'm like, oh, if you get one, save it because who knows when you'll see it again. Dude, I got one, but it had slick draw, unfortunately. Uh. Uh, Moving on, I'm gonna send you a picture here on Discord. What is okay. the name of this perk? And if you can, like, uh, if you can Disruptor tell me, break. is it? Isn't it? No, it's not. But if you oh, can, oh no, <laughs> if... it's not disruption break. No. It's... Oh, uh, it's the it's a PVE perk. That's why I don't yeah. know it. It's adaptive munitions, right? Is that what no? It is? It's not. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it it is a PVE perk though, right? Okay. It is a PvE perk, and let me tell you something. This perk has never been on a weapon ever since Season of the Splicer. That is the last season this perk has ever oh. been added to the game. No, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. You want a hit? Yeah, yeah, give me a hint. The description for this perk is Energy Match Shield Explosion Disorients Nearby Combatants. Disor I don't know. I don't I seriously don't know. Okay. It's like I'm only current perk oriented <laughs> or something. Right. I don't know. Did you give up? Yeah, I give up. It's shield disorient, and I can shield disorient, not disruption. But that's what it is. I knew it. It was in the back of my mind, but yeah, I, I'm it was yeah. PVE, so I've just deleted it from my mind. <laughs> yeah, this perk <laughs> when I went, when I first look at it, I'm like, oh, it does, it doesn't exist because Bungie literally wow. stopped making the disorient keyword. I don't know if you know this, but the melee for Hunter on Ark, it's called disorienting blow, but it doesn't yeah. disorient anymore. It's blinding now. All right, uh, third question here. There's okay. three Iron Banner specific perks, which are Iron Reach, Iron Gaze, and Iron Grip. And they all have a massive double-edged effect, which increases a specific stat by sacrificing a different one. Mention each of the effects of these perks. Okay, Iron Gaze is uh, aim assist and the deficit is range, I believe. Correct, that's one. Uh, Iron Reach is range, uh, and the deficit is stability. Correct, again. Iron Gaze, Iron Reach, Iron, iron grip. grip. That's extra stability at the cost of range, right? Almost correct. No. Um, extra stability at the cost of, is it handling? I, I, no. Uh, it's not aim assist, right? No. Is it reload? Yes, it is reload. Oh, it's reload, weird, okay. You, you pretty much got all of that right. So yeah, I'm gonna really give it this close. one. Yeah, close. really close. Fourth one here is actually my favorite question. Uh, name all of the four perks with the word clip. Oh, okay. Kill clip, multi-kill clip. Um, oh, you're doing it so fast, okay. Uh, no, no, not that, that's mag. Um, so there's four, you got kill clip right, you get okay. multi-kill clip right. Chill clip. That's chill clip, a, yep. Then yeah. there's the last one. And then heal clip. Yep, you're correct. Yeah, there we <laughs> the go. The clip just came out uh, this season, so I was hoping that I could put a cheeky one in there. Yeah, that is kind of cheeky, but because <laughs> of that sidearm, that new sidearm, I, yeah. I want a drop of that with it too, because it would be odd. Fifth question. Um, this one is actually a test of time. The perk Air Assault was reintroduced in Season of the Haunted to synergize with the airborne effectiveness rework at the time. But do you know what the perk originally did back when it was first introduced in Black Armory? Air Assault, didn't it? I want to say it did something with like the speed of your firing rate, but that was we have we have assault mag. Yeah, what what? I feel like it was reload speed or something like useless. Uh, there's no way it like gave you extra aim assist while you're airborne or something. Like no, that. like it has nothing to do with the new version of so, it. So the perk was useless because there's this other perk that does what it does. The uh, pre-nerf quick draw was still in the game, so this perk was basically useless because almost every weapon with this perk is either not good enough or had quick draw. So it gave a handling multiplier? No, it actually just gives or, you a flat handling buff for doing something. Oh, uh, uh, for being in the air, it gives you like, yeah. like 15, 20. Yeah, it's like 20, 25. Something. It was really oh, bad 20. at the time. 
So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sixth question. The perk surplus increases the weapon's stat depending on your charge abilities. What are the three stats that surplus provides onto the weapon? Okay, it's stability, handling, yep. and reload. Correct. Okay, so that's very easy. I just know uh, it's not range because that I would care about it a lot more. Everybody's like, "Oh, yeah. surplus on a fusion," and I'm like, "Nah, you don't. You don't need surplus on a fusion." I, okay, the thought process behind this uh, question was actually like, everybody uses uh, surplus for the handling, so maybe they don't know what the other two uh, bonuses are. Next question. This is the seventh question. Not to be confused with origin traits, but we mm -hmm. used to have a nightfall and trials of Osiris specific perk found on adept weapons obtained through these activities. What are the name of these two perks? A lot of past questions here. Okay, but I know this one because it's celerity. Yeah. And uh, God, PVE perks are gonna kill me on this one. It's it's the one that like reloads when you're weak or something like that. Almost. Uh, I. Uh, what is it called? I I just saw it on an old plug one I had. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't I don't know I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna get it. So I, I just hardly ever see it. So do you want to know what it does? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you're the last member of your fire team, it reloads the weapon, right. and it also provides you with plus one to your magazine size as a stat. That's such a bad perk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is really bad. Nobody was using it. Celerity was really good, though. I have people in my uh, Discord still that are like, oh, you have an old Celerity something? Like, it's pretty good. <laughs> like... So do you give up on this one? Yeah, I'm not going to guess it. Okay, it's called Bottomless Grief. Bottomless. It's from yes. a knife. All right, moving on. Which weapon archetype benefits an increase to fire rate when having the full auto trigger perk? Oh, this is what I was talking about earlier. It's uh. Wait, say the question again. Say the question. Again. Which weapon archetype benefits an increase to its fire rate when having the full auto trigger perk? It's the shotgun, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> question number nine. There's currently five magazine perks you can roll on special ammo grenade launchers, which are. Blinding grenades, spike grenades, proximity grenades, high velocity rounds, and implosion rounds. Those are all the five that you can roll currently. But there was actually one additional magazine perk that you can roll. What was the name of that perk? Oh no, grenade launchers. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'm trying to like reach into my mind and there's just um, nothing. Like... Okay, I actually mentioned this earlier in the video, so I'm, I'm glad that you no. didn't remember it. <laughs> okay. I, I'm not, I'm not going to get it. Okay. I, I don't so it's called the concussion grenade. Oh, it functions, yes. it functions similarly to blinding grenades in PVE, but it was worse. It didn't have the blast radius that blinding uh, grenades provides, but Bungie decided to Man. be like, this perk doesn't do enough. So we're just going to remove it from the game. Um, last question. The perk oh, elemental capacitor provides the weapon a specific stat bump, depending on your equipped subclass. What are the individual effects that you get for using each of the subclass? So you don't have to mention the numbers, but if you want to, feel free to do okay. so. Okay, void is stability. Correct. Solar is reload. Arc is yep. handling. Uh -huh. Stasis is recoil direction. And uh, I'm forgetting. Strand is uh, uh, airborne effectiveness. Yep, you're entirely correct on that one. All right, well, thank you for doing this with me. You can let the viewers know where to find you. Yeah, I'm Lego La Flash. You can find me at Lego La Flash on Twitter or YouTube. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.